Hello YouTube land! Welcome back to another Own Natural Moment video. I have some news as you've probably read from the title. I am switching the way, or I have been switching the way that I promote my OnlyFans and my other platforms that I am on. I have almost stopped promoting on Reddit and my channel I talk a lot about Reddit and I have learned a lot about Reddit. I like to say that I'm pretty um, knowledgeable about Reddit and I've done very well on there. And that's mostly where I've gotten most of my subscribers. Now I barely post on there and I put my time and energy into Instagram. I think it's really important that as creators, we have to adapt with changes and we have to be with what's trending on social media like that's a very very important part of it and I was kind of lacking in that department of course I I really got to know how reddit worked so I I could really um, gain a lot of subscribers from reddit and I was committed to it so it did pay off but as times are really changing and I want to grow more, of course, then I need to fix or kind of alter my um, promoting tactics and go with what is trending. I've also wanted to kind of like promote with a lot less scandalousness, scandalousness. <laughs> if that's a word because <laughs> on reddit you're free to post literally anything and everything and i mean that so i you know you kind of go through that path of posting things that you aren't really allowed to post on instagram and tiktok and stuff so i have gone that route and i've gone the route of just regular regular you know outfit ways of posting on reddit as well but i really want to just kind of get away from that so that's why i have been posting on instagram now i couldn't have done this and been doing as well as i am which honestly is not that crazy but <laughs> for me because i'm the queen of like slow and steady um i'm doing really well and that's thanks to Kayla, who I am friends with. And I've finally actually taken her advice. Like I have taken her advice because I get to hang out with her virtually um, with Alana and Erin. And now I finally have been like, okay, Anne, I need to listen to Kayla like 100% this time. It's always like 50% I listen to her, you know, because you have your own ways. Everyone has their own ways of doing things. Now I finally have, and it is amazing. It is amazing. I feel like I'm doing less work than if I was on Reddit. I'm showing a lot less also, which is kind of, which is what I want to do. And I'm getting more subscribers than I have been on Reddit. Now I still do post on Reddit every once in a while. I do have that at like promoting my page. I post when I have sales and stuff because I still want to have people from Reddit come to my page. You want people from everywhere to find you. So not completely stopped posting on Reddit, but I just don't put the time and energy into it anymore. I also do post part-time, I guess, on Twitter and a little bit on Facebook and of course youtube here but like most of my time and energy is going to instagram and it is wild i blew in my eyes i blew up and overnight i woke up and i was like what the heck happened i looked at my instagram and all of my views went drastically up and i had all these subscribers on my only fans and all these notifications i was like there's something wrong with my phone <laughs> like this is not normal i didn't know what the heck was going on i was like is somebody pranking me what the hell is going on but sure enough i did kind of you know blow up go viral in my own way um and I got a lot of engagement. And that's because I was using trending 
audio and I was just, I still am using trending audio. I'm only making reels now and I'm trying to fit into a specific niche where before my Instagram was very like broad and um, not really like not really um, trying to get all the fan subscribers, if that makes sense with my content. Uh, now I really want it to get those people. So I post things that are more for people looking for creators who have OnlyFans. Now my niche on there is kind of broad. Like Kayla does a lot of things her niche is skirts. So she has um, a lot of content in skirts. So I don't own skirts. <laughs> I don't even know what the last time I wore a skirt was, honestly. Maybe like grade 12 or something, but <laughs> 2009. <laughs> but I don't like ever wear that stuff. So my thing is, 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 okay, what do I wear? You know, what do I do? Now I wear a lot of leggings. I like wear a lot of workout clothes. I have a big badonkadonk. Um, and I like to be natural downstairs okay and that's what I would you know put on reddit too that was like my niche was just the naturalness so I have been making content like that on Instagram and yes I have gotten a lot of content uh asked to be removed or edited because they won't Instagram won't push some of my content for f new followers and honestly that's like everybody anybody who's kind of making promoting con promotional content for this type of work, you're going to have platforms flag you because it's hard to figure out what's too sexy and we're all sexy. So it's like, how can you not be sexy, but be sexy? Like, it's really weird how you have to kind of like adjust your sexiness, you know? So it takes a lot. And when I first started um, really doing what Kayla has said, I probably got like 25 things flagged and one thing removed by Instagram. And I was like, what the? Oh my God, this is so freaking hard. <laughs> but once I kind of figured out, okay, I can't shoot in this angle. Okay, I can't wear this. Okay, I can't like show this and stuff. Then I learned kind of more like, okay, this is how I have to do it. So I think I started doing Instagram solely most of the time when I had like 5,000 subscribers, maybe like three weeks ago-ish, maybe less than that, um, somewhere around like three weeks. Now I have 14, over 14,000 uh, followers, not subscribers, followers, 14,000 followers. And that is a hell of a lot for me. Like that is crazy. Any numbers over like 10,000 is just like, mind boggling. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh my goodness. So I have been post trying to post once in the morning, once at night. I use trending audio that I find on reels. I go through reels, like explore reels and see what songs I hear multiple times because those are the ones that Instagram is pushing. And then I use those in my reels and my reels are like I don't know, 10 seconds, like five to 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds at max, but your reels don't really need to be very long. And you don't wanna do like thirst trap reels because you're gonna be fighting with Instagram a lot that way. And you're not gonna realize that Instagram isn't pushing your content out and you're gonna get very upset. So daily, I, and same with like Kayla and even Alana and Aaron as well. We're in a little group together. We're all checking our statuses of our accounts like all the time just to make sure that our content is being pushed out. And you you need to you you have to do that or your work that you're like all the work you're putting into it is going to be for nothing. So I just delete my account when any of it gets flagged. I don't appeal it. I just learn from what I did wrong and it could even just be the caption so maybe I'll delete the video but maybe I'll post it in a couple days but I'll put like a different caption and even in your bio my bio got flagged 
I had my bio for like two years and all of a sudden as soon as I kind of blew up a little bit my bio got flagged I was like I don't understand but I did have it um where it said that I had extra sexy or extra spicy stuff down below at my link so I figured that's what it was. And I also used the spicy chili emoji on it. So I deleted that, left my link. And my page has been fine with my bio. It hasn't been flagged or anything. And as I'm learning what to post, I also have like a lot less, barely anything gets flagged anymore, which has been amazing. I have made a second Instagram account and that is Anne Finds. But I'll link it down below because it's the crazy a n n n n n n n n e you know fine so that I'm, that's my name. Um, I'll link it down below with my other one as well. But I'm literally finding things, and I just made this like not too long ago, so I barely have any content on it. But <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do for my like specific niche on there, and I will be crawling on the floor essentially um looking for my keys or my flashlight or my remote or my banana that I lost or whatever it is a bag of chips whatever it is that I lost and I will be just you know making a short little clip of that and then finding it so it's not super sexy but it's also showcasing my backside which is, you know, kind of my thing, cutie with the booty, that's me. Um, so it's like showcasing that and showcasing, yes, you know, she probably does have what you're looking for on Instagram and it's not overly sexual, though sometimes I get a little crazy in there and how I position myself is a little bit too risque for Instagram. So they have, <laughs> they have asked me to take down like, I think two videos but that's okay. I'm learning how to kind of do it without having to worry about that. But yeah, Instagram is like, and Kayla knows what she's talking about. Kayla is a genius on the interweb. So highly recommend that you do check her out as well. She's on YouTube, of course, and she's on Instagram and TikTok and all those fun places. I'll link her down below. But I think that's going to be all for my video today. I have all of my links in my link tree down below if you want to check me out anywhere. And I also have referral codes for Fansly slash Shein OnlyFans. If you want to become a creator, you can use my referral code and I'll have my Instagrams down below. Hope you guys have a super duper great day and I will see you later. Bye!